An air traffic controller died as a tsunami hit Indonesia this week when he stayed behind to make sure people escaped a city safely on a plane. Antonius Gunawinagung was working at Palu Airport when disaster hit the island on Friday evening. But instead of fleeing with colleagues, the 21-year-old remained in the control tower until the last plane carrying people escaping was airbound. Moments later, the tower began to crumble and the worker was forced to jump from a fourth-floor window. Despite being rushed to hospital with a broken leg, the young man died from internal injuries on Saturday morning. The decision to stay behind cost Mr. Agung his life, however he saved hundreds of others by doing so, Air Navigation Indonesia spokesman Johan Sirit said. At least 832 people have been killed after the tsunami smashed into the popular tourist town just before the weekend. Of the deaths, 821 have been recorded in Palu, emergency officials said, two days after five-foot waves slammed into the city of 350,000 people on Sulawesi Island. Indonesian Vice President Yusuf Kalla said the final number of dead could be in the thousands. Disaster Agency spokesman Sutopo Purwo Nagroho told a news conference there were still not comprehensive reports about casualties in surrounding coastal areas. The death is believed to be still increasing, since many bodies were still under the wreckage, while many have not been reached, he said. Rescuers have said they have heard people screaming for help beneath the rubble. Muhammad Sayagi, the head of Indonesia's search and rescue agency, said, I can still hear the voices of the survivors screaming for help while inspecting the compound. He added there could be 50 people trapped inside. Many are struggling to find food and water and are reportedly turning to looting nearby shopping malls in an effort to survive. The fate of hundreds of people who were attending a beach festival is unknown in the tourist town of Palu. The number of deaths reported has almost doubled overnight, with the figure standing at 384 yesterday afternoon.